Ah, hello, and welcome to another edition of the Dinosaur News Center. This time, we're looking at the top maybe 10 or so longest carnivores. Top maybe 10 or so, you ask? Why so vague? Because some of these animals might actually be the same thing. But since they're still listed as valid, I'll treat them as such. But just don't be surprised that in the future, some of these animals might disappear. Now then, let's get started, shall we? Number 1. Acrocanthosaurus atokensis From early Cretaceous North America comes Acrocanthrosaurus. Like Spinosaurus, this carnivore has a sail on its back, except this sail is only 3 feet tall, and runs from its neck all the way down to its tail. Despite the sail, the animal itself is not in any way related to Spinosaurus, but is more like a bridge between Allosauridae and Cacarodontosauridae. Number 2. Allosaurus fragilis Now I'm sure most of you know what an Allosaurus is, but I'm not so sure this animal actually belongs on this list. All the predators on this list are at least 38 feet long. The longest definitive specimen is only 32 feet long, or 9.7 meters, in the American Museum of Natural History. So why is Allosaurus on this list? Stick around, you'll find out in a minute. Number 3. Carcarodontosaurus saharicus Carcarodontosaurus of mid-Cretaceous Africa is only the second carnivore to dethrone T-Rex from the position of largest carnivorous dinosaur. But then it turns out the skull itself was artificially enlarged, making it much bigger than it really is. That said, it'll still easily rival any predator on this list. Number 4 Deltodromius agilis Sharing the plains of Cretaceous Africa with Cocarodontosaurus comes Deltodromius. This carnivore was previously thought to be only 28 feet long, but recent discoveries have shown that it could easily be 40 foot or more. Notice how this list is referred to as the longest and not largest? Largest refers to body length and weight, and Deltadromius is actually one of the most lightweight predators on this list. Number 5. Ed Marca Rex Yeah, that's right. Rex. The same as T-Rex, as in King. And why not? It's right up there with the largest carnivores of the Jurassic. There's also the possibility of Ed Marka just being a different name of another dinosaur coming up later on this list. Number 6. Epantarius Ampelexus Epantarius Ampelexus or Allosaurus Ampelexus? Its status is still in debate and nobody knows, but for now, it's still a valent animal. It may just be a really big Allosaurus. If Epantarius really isn't an Allosaurus, don't worry, we still have another one! Number 7. Mapusaurus rosae This carnivore of late Cretaceous Argentina falls into the family of Cacarodontosauridae. It was discovered with at least 7 different individuals, leading paleontologists to speculate that it either lived in packs, or they may have discovered a predator trap. Mapusaurus is one of the newest discoveries on this list. I'm very surprised to find a life-size restoration of the skeleton already. Number 8. Sorophaganax Maximus Why hello again, Allosaurus with a different name! This is the last carnivore on this list that might just be a really big Allosaurus. And the only difference we know so far is that it's, um... It's really big and it's really big. So if you read about a really big Allosaurus, they're probably referring to Epantarius or maybe Sorophaganax. Number 9! How would you classify it, Billy? Well, it's a super predator. Mm -hmm. 
Suka minus. Snow. Oh, think bigger. Baryonyx. Thirty minus forty times the square root of pi equals. I can do math. Unlike the other carnivores on this list, Suchomimus has a long and narrow snout, making it more suitable for hunting fish. If you look carefully at the pelvis of Suchomimus, you can see that the neural spines are much higher, giving it a small sail on the back. Number 10. Torvosaurus Teneri. Or what Ed Marco would be called if it was in fact a junior synonym of Torvosaurus. What we do know is that Torvosaurus lived in a very wide range of areas. It's been found in Texas, Oklahoma, Maryland, and even all the way to Portugal. At least we can say that Torvosaurus holds the crown for the largest predator in Europe. For now. And that about wraps it up for our top maybe 10 or so longest carnivores. Are there more? Yeah, and I'm saving them for later. Did I have to use all those allosaurs? Nah, I just want to get that mess out of the way first. Now then, let's move on and introduce this episode's dinosaur. For this episode, I think I'll introduce you to my very first dinosaur. Meet Qingdaosaurus spinal or highness, a hadrosaur from late Cretaceous China, better known as a duckbill dinosaur. Qingdaosaurus is distinguished from other hadrosaurs because of the horn-like crest on its snout, making it look vaguely like a unicorn. For a while, it was considered an invalid genus because the crest was thought to be broken bone on the snout that was bent upward during fossilization. Later, another skull was discovered with the same crest, showing that it was not a mistake after all. We don't know what the crest is for, but we do know it isn't for defense because it's far too fragile. Theories on it range from being used for display or even signifying sexual maturity. This is one of those mysteries we will never solve. And that's all for Qingdao Saurus. Now let's move on and answer some of your questions. Jill Sandwich asks, what is the biggest horde of fossilized dinosaur poo ever found? Hmm. Rather than me answering this one, I think I'll let an expert handle this. This came from Karin Chin, the world's expert in dino poo. The largest coprolite I know by volume is approximately 6 to 7 liters. One was produced by a herbivorous dinosaur, probably a duckbill dinosaur. The other was a carnivorous tyrannosaurid dinosaur. I have read another specimen that was described as 10 feet long, but a full description of the specimen was never published. So I don't know what its volume was. It is entirely possible that that specimen consisted of a long dribble of fecal matter. Best wishes, Karin Chin. Associate Professor and Curator of Paleontology, Geological Sciences and Museum of Natural History, University of Colorado. Coolcat10189 asks, What is the biggest meat-eater dinosaur ever discovered? Ah yes, Tyrannosaurus, Giganotosaurus, and Spinosaurus. I have some new information that will shock you. But my invisible watch says we're out of time. Ah oh, well. You'll have to tune in to next episode that's specially devoted to answering this question. Until then, this is the Illiterate Scholar signing off. Bigger. Adjective. Of great size. Large. Hmm.